Mm. I'm going to return Probably a not. couple. Hi, are we on the air? I'm not sure uh -oh. we're taping. I think we are. The clocks are going. This is Diane Miller. You're currently watching the Just Kidding Around show. Thanks so much for joining us. Each week, <laughs> we, we bring in community members to share their talents. And, um, you know, I've done this show for many years, and we have never done a show on gardening. It just blows me away. And I'm so thrilled to welcome a former student of mine, Ellis Linwall. And uh, Ellis is going to show us how to make raised beds. Oh and God. this is Ellis's mom, Lydia Lindwall, who did a show with me years ago. Maybe, what, 10 years ago? Yeah, It's been a least. while. We did a show on? Soap making. Soap making. Yeah, I kept those bars of soap for the longest time. So anyway, so you have permission to tape this show if you'd like, because you might need a few supplies, probably a drill. Or a hammer. Or a hammer. Or. Okay. And uh, and then chunks of wood that, uh, did you buy these pre-cut? No, we cut them at the house. You cut them at the house. So you have some kind of saw that did that. Yeah, we just have a table saw that we use. Table saw. Okay. All right. So we usually start by giving a shout out, looking at the camera. I don't know what camera to look in. Probably that one right there. Is that the one? Or this one? <laughs> and say hello to somebody. I'm going to say... Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. If you say hi, Mom, you just look there. Ellis, hi, Mom. <laughs> Ellis is not going to talk much, I can tell you right now. That's why we got his mother here. She's going to do all the talking. Hi, Mom. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> are we filming? We really are filming, right? <laughs> I think we are. So let's start by me asking you why raised beds. Are you a gardener? Have you been gardening for years? Why did you want raised beds? Because the soil at my house is real rocky. Whenever you try to dig in it, all you get is a whole bunch of gravel and rocks. Okay. So even when I try to put in to amend it, then I go back and there's still more rocks. It's like somehow they're multiplying. Did you try land gardening first or no gardening first? Yeah, we've planted around the yard and I have some um, planters above my um, patio wall. But um, I've always wanted the raised beds because okay. you can put them where you want and you can oh. make them the size you want and then they're raised up a little and the soil is good. And okay. So if you have rocky soil, if you think a garden's hopeless or not an option, it is an option. Right. And even though your soil, the soil in the home might be poor, this is the answer to the problem. Do you know, I really didn't know that much about raised beds. And so I actually went to a bookstore. And I, I listened Saturday mornings. I listened to Cisco. Do you guys know who Cisco is? Yeah. And one okay. time, months and months ago, he talked about this book called Square Foot Gardening. And I happen to remember that. I went to a local bookstore and I bought the book. And it's interesting because I guess actually in 1981 is when raised beds started to become popular. So they've been around a while. Yeah. But they're still being perfected. Well, are we ours gonna- is huh? Ours is simple. Okay. Um, anybody could do it, it's real easy. Okay. And um, it doesn't take a lot of materials. You can see all this wood cost about $25. All right. We have some sprues and a, a drill. Or so a, not that much. Some, no. And this is the first year you've had one. And mm -hmm. what did you plant in yours? Oh, strawberries, um, pumpkins, some acorn squash. Really? And then another one I have a um, elderberry bush. All right. So I want the berries to make wine. And then some flowers around it. Okay. And then I have another one that's there with dirt. I have to plant some stuff in it. I have some beans and parsnips I want to plant. And did Ellis make those for you? Yes, he okay. made them all. And are they, um, what dimensions are those? Four by six. Two of them are four by six. One's a four by five. Okay. But to, today we're making a three by four, right? Two by three. Two by three. Okay, got it. And um, yours are four by six. Yes. All right, and how are they doing? They're doing well. Yeah, because you can pick what kind of soil you put in it and get enough mulch in there, and so that when you water, it keeps it damp, and they're, they're growing very well. Much better than the rocky soil. Yes. Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> lining around them with all the rocks I've been digging up. 
piles of rocks around the yeah. raised bed. And Ellis, how did you learn to do this? I winged it. You winged it. I now, winged that's it. That's not what you say on television. You say you studied nice. from a master. <laughs> okay, so you winged it. So you just, uh, your mom wa knew the dimensions she wanted? She knew what she wanted, and I just kind of figured out a way to put it together and make it easier. Okay. Stuff like that. And ha have, what type of woods do you use? We, we use cedar for ours, but you can use really any type of wood you want. Any kind of wood? Yeah. Okay. Cedar is for outdoors, you mm -hmm. know, here in Washington, since it rains so much. Cedar holds up really well with water. Right. The only alternative, really, would to keep it from rotting away here would be the um, treated wood. But I didn't want treated wood around my food. Next to your food, yeah. So this hasn't been treated in any No, way. it's just it's not cedar. Stained. So don't feel like you've got to paint your, they no. shouldn't feel like they need to paint their, no. don't paint them, don't treat them. I wouldn't. All right. But it's personal choice, you know. Okay. If you're just going to put flowers or something, maybe treated lumber would be okay. Okay. And then um, we're going to use screws with this. Have you ever, how, would you recommend nails? If Hammer and nails, if you got them, probably be a little bit quicker than the drill. I Do you just, think it would hold together? Is there a lot of pressure on the joints on something like this? Not really. There wasn't that much. I think it would hold pretty fine with just the right type of nail. Okay. Doesn't soil weigh a lot? It, yeah, I don't. Honestly, I don't know. I just prefer screws because I feel they're more sturdy. Okay. So. But nails should hold just as well. Yeah, I'm just thinking a drill might be more expensive. It's just my preference to use screws, but you could use nails. All right. And how big are these screws? Is there some? Oh, dimension? these are these are number eights, and they're eights. Two and a half inches long. They size them based on the diameter. Eights. Yikes. Sixes, I think, are suckers big. Yeah, that's smaller, and I don't know if they have fours. But anyway, so we're using eights, and they're two and a half inches long, so that it can get through the wood when it's put together. Well, I'm excited to see this. So, Ellis can put one of these together in about 20 minutes. Now, that's the big one, the four by six, yeah. right? But um, we're gonna do a smaller one here. You can make these all sizes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've seen square ones. I saw, I saw a man that ripped out his whole front yard and it's just squares of these raised beds. I was thinking about that too. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. And if you don't know where to start, start by videotaping this and watching Ellis. But also, uh, go to public library, uh, lots of books, the websites. You might want to use the term square foot gardening or raised beds. Uh, this one is uh, grow your own in pots and it's container gardening. So they even show in this book how to grow potatoes in a black, in a black garbage bag. So, you know, end of the season, you just rip open the bag and the potatoes fall out, I guess. That's that, pretty I cool. thought that'd be fun to do with a little kid. Yeah. And this one, I don't, I bought it because I thought it'd stand up real well. <laughs> oh, this is called the Downsize Veggie Garden. So it's how to, you know, square. You can see these little squares here. Some people even square off the square, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I you didn't know. do that, did you? No. I wouldn't do that either. Yeah. That's been a little... Too much. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So they must be a control freak. Yeah, control freaks do that. <laughs> and then then they plan what goes in each square foot. That's a bit much. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, gotta do something to keep busy when yeah. you're <laughs> tired. That's for retired people that yeah. Okay, All right. so Sorry. Um, can I leave this here, Ellis, or is this going to be in the way? Ah, you're fine. All right, so now I think we're going to be quiet, and Ellis is going to um, Should I put this together. So no, he... why don't we sit here, and then okay. what happens if I have a question or you have oh, a yeah, question? Oh, yeah, you can get to work. And I'll... Okay, I'm going to try and be quiet, though, so the viewers can... Uh, you know what? They're not. The viewers are not going to see. Oh, that. they can't see. So I they should move this wood. They cannot see that. Let me move this so wood let's sideways. So let's start by moving the wood so they can see what he's Too doing. Too many. You're a problem solver. Always need problem solvers. That's what yeah, we want on. everybody to see what move he's on. doing. Normally she causes the problem. And this one camera here is a robot, so <laughs> it might move in and out. You missed what he said. He said normally I cause the problems. Okay, is that what he said? I don't believe that. I'm glad I didn't hear him say that. Okay, so cameras are on Ellis, oh. and these are screws, and that's a drill. Mm -hmm. This is wood. 
<laughs> and that cedar that smells, smells good. so good. Yes. Mm, I yum. Love it. Yeah. So step one, what are the dimensions? What is this dimension? Uh, that's a one by one by 12. One by one by 12. And this is a what is this? four by six. That's what it is. Four by six. All right. Now I'll be they quiet. They came in 12 foot lengths, and so we sawed them to the size that you wanted. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much I just do two s screws per board. Well, for the foot long. It's sturdy. Yeah, so you it just doesn't fall out. You don't have to those first? No. No, they go oh, right in. That's what I would do. They go right in. Hopefully. Can't tell me. That drill is not loud. Is than that. You guys said it'd be loud. Oh, it was loud. We can talk over that. Yeah. I thought it would be loud. I thought to me, that's on. quicker than a hammer because I hammer all over and hit my fingers. I make wow. gouges. To me, that's easier. I need a screwdriver like that. That's way quicker than a hammer. Yeah. And it's sturdier. I still don't see how this is going to go together, but don't just worry so the about it. Knows. Have faith. Have faith. Oh, not in me. Not in you. Not in me. <laughs> Whoops. Gets, Whoops. What happens if it does go in crooked? I mean, he's getting those in straight. Oh, it doesn't matter. Not really on this. No big deal. This isn't like finished carpentry. It's just something to throw okay. some dirt in and grow something. It's not. Doesn't have to be fancy. This is one wicked screw, so it's going in uh -huh. all the way down, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you're not screwing it to the table. Nope, it's good. Well, I'm being uh, careful. One of the guys in the control room being is a remodeler. And um, he's a what? A remodeler. One of the guys oh, working really? on the show. Yeah, he remodels oh. home. Oh. So Maybe probably, I could get his card. I need some work done. <laughs> I think everybody needs work done. Yeah. Tell me about it. I need a house cleaner, actually. Yeah, I know. Me too. Oh, so keep working. <laughs> Am I sick too loud? Uh, no, it's just rubbing. Oh, you're oh, oh. Keep oh. your hair back. Sorry. Yeah, that happens. Now. I'm making noise. We have the. Oh, you answered my question. If it goes in crooked, you can put it in reverse and yeah, uh -huh. just back down. Yeah. Oh, I think you, you just you push the button on the drill. It goes in or it goes out. <laughs> have you never seen one of those power drills? I don't do that. I'm a school librarian. I don't have power drills, Lydia. We'll do the other side first. This one. Let me show her the drill. Plate. All right. So see, is push this button and it goes out. See, it's got an arrow out. So you can reverse it. And then, then. you push it on this side and it goes in. Thank you. Very cool. Yeah, and you can put different bits on it. And okay. You can drill holes or you can screw things in. Did you write on all this equipment or do you have to go out and buy this? Uh... Oh, no, this is mine. I oh, love, it's yours. I I'm love power at... tools. You own the power tools. Okay. Yeah. I love an well, occasion to buy a new power, power tool. tool. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everybody thinks women have to have spatulas and I do those pancake too. turners. You're not, you're just, there, something's happening yeah. with your mind. I'm good at pancakes. We don't edit these shows, so we have to make sure uh -oh. that it's good. No editing allowed. None of my shows. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you weren't done with that one. Sorry. He's whipping this out like it's some kind of a kit, but it's not a kit. Is it, or can you buy these as kits? I honestly don't know. Okay, so he actually bought the, he went to a wood store, he bought all the wood. This mm -hmm. isn't a kit, even though he's acting like it is. No, so that's what good. looks like. And he, he just learned to do this for you. Yeah. you got a good son. Yep. Well, I like woodworking and stuff like that. He helped me hang some lights to a porch light, okay. and a light in the family room. Did you take a wood shop in middle school? Yeah, I took a wood shop in middle school. I was Did gonna... you go to Chinook? Yeah, I went to Chinook. Who was your teacher? God, it's been so long. I don't remember his name. How about Don Summers? That Mr. Was, Summers? That wasn't it. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Don't look so well, that's disappointed. That's my uncle. My uncle was a shop Jeez. teacher. Oh, really? Yeah, at Chinook. It was a new shop teacher when I went there. Oh, a new one? Because yeah. my uncle retired. I always wanted to take woodworking in school, but they made me take home ec. They Isn't didn't let that girls funny? take that. They back wouldn't then. let girls take woodworking. And now I don't think they even offer home ec or woodwork. They offer home ec at um. Do they still school. have yeah. it? Okay. It's not and called home ec. It's um. Oh, they had to give it a new name. Yeah, okay. they gave it a new something name. nutritional or whatever. Okay. 
So where did you go to high school? I went to North Thurston High School. All right. Yeah. I didn't do the shop class there, though. Do you think shop should be a required class? I think it's handy if you want to do something on your own. Maybe mm -hmm. not required, but an option. The trades, more in depth than the trades. The kids can learn how to frame up a structure, how to build yeah. something. Even just give them Legos and let them, well, yeah. maybe not Legos. Yeah. <laughs> But I sit, did say a thing today on TED Talks about Legos and how fundamental they were. And so, are these the sides we're doing? Yes. Yeah. All right. Oops. These sideboards? these, you mm -hmm. can make them taller. All right. And then so if you have green beans and you could drill a hole in the ends and string the string across and put something down. So there's so. really no uh, regulation on how tall a bed should no, be? No, heck no. You can make it as tall as you want. So this is actually the depth. Yeah, that'll be the depth of your oh. dirt. And if you want it taller, then you just have to cut these this boards is taller for and me. put another one on. Oh, there. Somebody's got a good close-up of that. Thank you. So this yeah. is cedar. This is how tall it's going to be. You don't have to. You can make it taller if you want. Yeah. But we're going to put parsley in this one, so it doesn't have That's, to be real tall. No. And I have, like for my elderberry bush, I wanted it deeper in the ground mm -hmm. than this, so I... I put landscape fabric on the bottom, you know, to prevent oh. the weeds from growing up and through. Oh. So then I just dug a hole through the landscape fabric down into that nasty dirt to get it deeper in, and then so, I put the good dirt around. So you just put yours on your lawn? I dug out the top layer of the lawn. I scraped off all the grass, but you don't have oh. to. So if you have a lawn, you, you can just put one of these raised you, beds on the lawn. You, you don't could. have to. I would put landscape fabric. Okay, to keep the weeds. Especially to keep the grass from growing up into uh -huh. it. But I scraped off the grass to get a better start and then put okay. the landscape fabric down and then oh, put the Oh, Ellis dirt in wants there. us to. Uh, oh, he wants these. He needs Ooh, equipment. Please. Yeah, these are the So, nice by the way, Ellis told us he could do this in 20 minutes. Somewhere and if Ellis can do it in 20 minutes, I'm thinking that's amazing. But that doesn't count all the time he spent pre cutting this wood. How much time did it take you to pre-cut this wood? How long, probably. About five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes. Long. So the whole project, the most the most time-consuming part of this project is driving to the store and, and buying the wood. the wood. Do they make kits for uh, raised beds? You know, I don't know. Honestly, they probably do. Some Man, that'd be a good way to make a living. Just make raised bed, uh, bed kits for people that don't have table saws and things. You know. Uh, that would be nice. I bet people would pay for it. <laughs> um, are the pokey things on the right side? You know, the, the, this part? What do you mean? So the flat part will wind up right with that flat part? Well, I can turn it either way, it's going to be fine. But you don't want pokey part and then flat part. What? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Can you speak I proper think English? I think we're side discussion. You want like, you yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, I'll listen. Never mind. The long part, not the. Remember, we don't edit, so that won't be edited. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the side discussions, whatever. That's the technical. Uh, no, term. I'm glad you said. Do you want? What was your concern? Well, I want to make sure that they that this part. The, okay, this, so we have a little extra expands. here. Yes. Why do we have this little extra part well, here? Well, you don't have to, but I'd like stick that down into the dirt. Okay, so it makes it just a little stronger. A little stabler, yeah. A little more stable. Got it. You don't it. have to. Okay, so you're concerned that we make sure that, that that's... That they both wind up. Right. So that this is on the okay. inside when we line Thank it up. Thank you for pointing that out. It's not a big deal if it's not. You can saw it off or you could use it. Got it. So I got the ends here. Yeah, we should have brought the other battery out here. Is that dead? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we need our so our, our 20 minute... Um, I'll go the get it. drill. Oh, I can't go get it. I'm on a the drill just died. Yeah. So where is your battery? It's on the table out there. So why don't you ask? Why don't you? Um, can somebody in the control room ask the daughter to bring a, a battery? Yeah. In. <laughs> Arnie, who rebuilds houses? 
Oh. He really goes by Rusty Nails. Thank you very much. Thanks. He knew what the battery was. See, I didn't even know. Oh, cool. Is that battery charged? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I always charge it up after. You should charge that one. Yeah. Oh. So these batteries, just um, yeah. anything Thanks. special about them? Well, the special thing about these batteries is when they die, mm -hmm. it's hard to get one to replace it. Good. So you wind up having to buy a new drill. Because <gasps> the oh, batteries cost no. almost as much as the drill. So how do you get around that? You just keep buying new drills. <laughs> I have like two in my garage that don't have batteries. The, the batteries oh, died over no. the years, you know. But I really love this one. That's your favorite. We can't, so far. We can't advertise or I'd ask you a time, but that's okay. After the show's over all. Oops. Now, I don't understand why he's putting that in the middle, but I'm going to find out. Don't worry right? about it. It's just an extra don't worry grace. About it. Come on. I'm glad your mom's here. I ask a question and I'll don't worry about it. It's, it's just an extra <laughs> brace. Okay. Just to make it sturdier. Got, oh, very cool. Don't hit me with that board, boy. Do I now, want, we woman? No family fighting on the show. Okay. Oh, and this Any is one of our... the edge pieces real quick and oh, I'll show you. Oh, we're going to start putting it together already? Yeah, just put one of them together. Put it upside down with the form. So, Lydia, how many of these do you want in your yard? Uh, Too many. I'm going to make another one for the front yard, for in front of the fence, a thin one to put my... Um... You say you are or Ellis is going to? I well, Ellis, say Ellis you. Yeah. Uh, put some flowers in, in front of the fence. Oh. Oh. Just a thin one. So flower, some irises. You put flowers. I love the side of this, yeah. the size of it. I just love it. Yeah, I push that It'd be easier to move it around. Some of them are so big, they're hard, you know. Yeah. yeah. My big one, he had to carry around to the mm -hmm. yard for me. And what kind of dirt would you put in this? Um, well, if. Some I of that put, rocky some of mine, soil? I just put like bags of miracle grow in mine. Okay. They have vegetable soil you, you can get in bags or... Pardon? Want to hold that for me? They okay. sell organic soil. Yeah, they sell them in bags or you can get a truckload <sighs> delivered to your and house. And you can make your own soil too. Are you a I, composter? You, yes. Well, I, something this size, it seems like you could compost in it all year and then stay. plant yeah. in it. Kind of now that we have the yard waste, we've been getting rid of a lot of our stuff we could compost. Yeah. But we've been talking lately, my mom and I, about composting our, you know, eggshells and coffee grounds and yeah. stuff in the yard Thank you. so that we can. And worms like that. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of good big worms in my yard. I'm surprised they could get around the rocks. Do you know what? Um, Uh, is it worm castings? Is that the right word? I think so, That's yes. the best of all fertilizers, I yeah, believe, which is. is just the waste product from worms. Mm -hmm. So if you could encourage worms. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I put some peat moss in one of mine because it holds the water really well. That would be a great way to just start a bed with maybe some peat moss uh -huh. to hold the water, some worms, mm -hmm. some soil. Actually, this is from my mom, and she's got a lot of... Real, a lot of worms. So I maybe be careful of the, you know, it's rough edges. Oh. I didn't sand them. I can have it. Look how nice. That's a great view. So these are just supports. Yes. The, some people wouldn't, might not put those there, but yours is quality. And this is made of cedar. Yeah, you might not have to. You could just mm. screw the ends together. We just want no, to I make it like sturdy. I kind of like the extra support because then you know it's going to last. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two minutes left. Okay, so we better hurry. And that's upside down, I think. You're right. I think it goes the other way. So this I'm going to stand up. How's Ellis going to? Oh, around. there you go. Mom's here to help us. <laughs> what are we going to do? Uh, just believe. Not in me. All right. Because I don't know what Carl's I'm Carl's out there. Our cameraman's just laughing. It. You know what, Ellis? I'm going to stand up so you can get over here. Okay, that's a better idea. If that's all right. Yeah. I don't know how the camera people like this, but Lydia, can we put it back the way it was? And I'm gonna change chairs with Ellis. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. So, so what do we want to do here? Yeah. So if we can turn this back, how did we have this? 
like this. Oh man, this is sturdy. When I pick it up, this is really, doesn't waver a bit. This is quality. And I love the smell of it. I know. And it's gonna fit in my car. Is that right? No. Oh, there you go. Got That's it? That's right. Okay. This screw is crooked. They're not all lined up straight. Oh, it's good. Yeah, like it's I said, good. I'm winging it. Oh, you know what, though? That Minimal effort. Her, though. No, it won't. No, it won't. That's just wood. That That's one. not a nail. This is the one that could. We, right. we could sand that off. No, no, no. I thought it was the nail actually coming okay. through. Is that straight? Is so that now, second? Lydia, how much dirt? What's the depth of the dirt in this? Oh, so it's one foot, three by two, by one foot. Deep. But how much dirt? Would you you don't fill it all the way to well, the top, do you? No, I don't. I leave it a little bit lower. Okay, and why? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just because so when I water it, it doesn't knock them out. Okay. You don't have to. You can fill it up to the brim. And do cats? Do the neighborhood cats use it as a cat box? I have, a potty well, box? I have dogs and I have cats, so my cats wouldn't let the neighbor cats in the yard. All but right. My cats probably would do it, and they've been uh -huh. eyeballing it. <laughs> And the, the robins have been eating my strawberries. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and then I found the cat got the robin. Oh. And uh, it felt bad too. Yeah. I didn't tell my mom because she really liked seeing that robin every day. Oh no, that is sad. But. So, but what would you do if you um, have problems with a cat coming in your raised bed? Oh, well, you could put some like chicken wire up around. Okay, it. and that could keep Especially them if off. you made these taller. You know, if you cut them straight, oh. then you could attach the wire to it. Oh, that's a good idea. Or even, could you put, okay. Yeah, you could put some mesh across it. I've mesh seen people put those, those hoop things. And they that would keep like a cat They take like the PVC pipe and, All right. they up and then they put some like mesh up over the top. And the purpose of that? To keep the birds out? Keep the birds and keep out, the keep the cats, the cats out. out. Oh, very cool. And well, then if it's cold, you can put the plastic stuff up over it okay. and make it like a little mini greenhouse. Thanks so much for tuning in. And thank you, Ellis, for whipping this thing out. No problem. You're a master carpenter. He'll finish so, it in a minute for you. Thank you very much for tuning in again for the Just Kidding Round Show. We're on every Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday night. Bye. <laughs> Wait, that came to a quick end. <laughs>